What is happening in Ukraine is, of course, thousands of miles away, but many people here in Canada are following it minute by minute and are losing sleep as people in their homeland lose their lives. More than a million Canadians are of Ukrainian heritage, and as Mike Armstrong reports for them, this is all deeply personal. The images out of Ukraine are gut-wrenching, painful for anyone to watch, even more so if you have loved ones in the middle of it. Canadians of Ukrainian origin have taken to the streets in cities from coast to coast this week. This protest in Montreal this afternoon, the emotional strain palpable. Right now, right now at this moment when we are talking, people are dying. For most of these people, coming to this protest wasn't easy because it meant leaving their televisions and their computers, their sources of news. Checking the latest developments is the last thing before bed and the first thing when they wake up. Going to sleep last night, they put their heads on their pillows, thinking there was a truce. They said that during the night, there's not going to be any attack on protesters. In the morning, the first news I read, there were snipers shooting at people. The hunger for news from Ukraine is almost insatiable. People with family there want to see everything they can, and there is a lot. This is one face-off today. Protesters risking their lives to pull away the injured, Bodies today were lined up in a hotel lobby and in a public square. They're incredibly disturbing images. The stories are horrifying. This man says he was with one of the victims when he was shot. His last words were, brother, I don't want to die. 30 seconds later, he was dead. Communications, phones and internet are still up. It's meant Canadians with families in Ukraine have been able to speak to them. Many say their relatives in Kiev don't leave home except when desperate for food. But now even that's a problem. Today they're saying basically the stores are empty in Kiev. So it's kind of the, the, the panic is beginning to ensue, which, which certainly is making it even more tense. This protest was outside the Russian consulate, the country many blame for the struggles in Ukraine. The crowd left their signs on the fence and then left to check the news again. They say they don't fear what will happen tomorrow. They're scared of what can happen an hour from now. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.